Women typically live longer than men, so that means that their retirement is usually much more expensive. Unfortunately, women's pension plans often don't measure up. Joining me to offer some really important advice on how women can make the most of their pension plans is Lee Malotsky. He is from the SHM Financial Group with offices in Collingswood, Voorhees, and Lakehurst. He is also the author of this book. It's called Exit Strategies for a Secure Retirement, the proceeds from this book going to charity. Uh, which is a, an interesting little twist as well. Lee, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having so, me. So you know, what you say is that women continue to fall further and further behind as compared to men. Why is that? Sure, the pension system, as you well know, over the last 15 to 20 years has significantly changed. A lot of pressure, a lot of change of um, aging. The longer people live, the more pressure it's put on the pension system. And, and, and so as a result, there's not quite as much money to pay out. Not quite as much money to pay out. So mm -hmm. women in particular who live longer than men in general um, need to really bank on themselves as a, if they don't have a pension, they need to, 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 make on, to bank on themselves. Uh -huh. um, and that begins early on, if possible, in their 20s. They need to start with a plan, just a basic plan, kind of a track to run on. And one of the things in our office that we continue to emphasize is as much as you can on a on a monthly basis put away make it like a bank on yourself right okay so what uh, Lee really has some interesting advice because you talk about it from the decades so a little more aggressive um, investing in your 20s and in your 30s so what about in between 30s and 40s because that may be prime opportunity for women to earn money I would say in particular as you approach the late 40s early 50s you want to tend to you, you've built up a little bit of a nest egg, hopefully. You want to tend to take about 75% in general and be a little less risk averse or be more risk averse with that 75%. That will then allow the remaining 25% and additional monies to continue to be a little bit more aggressively invested. Okay, and so then what happens after that? Should the investment strategy even shift more once you're in your 50s? Uh, I would tend to think actually once you set aside the 75 percent just as a thumbnail mm -hmm. generality uh -huh. um, then you can continue to be aggressive with the monies that you continue to add to the, mm -hmm. the pile so to speak because at some point I'm a little bit of a skier I like to enjoy skiing once you hit the top of the mountain and you start to descend the mountain you'll find as you start to spend those monies you want to put take less pressure you want to put take less pressure off uh -huh. of the safe money and uh -huh. put more pressure on that. Okay, on so money. and so you are still um, a great advocate of investment in the stock market or not? Or I carefully? am over, uh, using dollar cost averaging and uh -huh. other instruments, um, other ways to approach it. Yes, as you build up your nest egg, yes. Okay, continue. so really important information for women at each age, they should be investing in themselves, as you say. That's correct. Yeah, Lee, thank you very much. Yeah. So for more information on planning for your retirement, you can head to cbsphilly.com and click on the Talk Philly.